Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. And in this lesson, we're going to summarize and wrap up with everything that we have to do to complete our system. So in this lesson, we're going to add some lines of codes that will help us hide and show our toolbars, formula bars, tabs, and all that. From there, we go ahead and hide the various sheets and some, sorry, lock the various sheets and then the cells that we don't want anyone to temper with and then leave those that we can or we have to update from one time to another open uh, for that. So exactly that is what we're going to do in this lesson. So let's just dive right into it. Let's log into our system. As you know by now, our systems should be locked based on our previous lesson. So here we go. Let's enter our username. Hit enter thousand. Sorry, I've just given you my password. <laughs> Sorry for that. So we are going to just assign some um, codes for this. Yes. So let's just go to developer tab. And then we go to Visual Basic. Then let's go to insets. So we insert another model. So this will be our sixth model here. So in here. I want to copy some lines of codes and then come and paste it here. So let's just minimize this for now and minimize this as well. Now in our SMS VB codes um, folder, we have another folder called hide and show tools. So open it, then you open this one which contains the codes for hiding the various tools. So control A to select control C to copy and we can close it and let's go back to our um, Visual Basic, and then Control V to paste. So let's give some space at the bottom. So this one will help us hide the various um, what do you call it tools. So let's minimize this. So let's open the shoe. Control A to select Control C to copy, and then uh, let's close it as well. Then we can go ahead and close this. Let's go back here, and then Control V to paste. Now let's just save this. Yes, let's click on OK. Now. Let's close this. Let's right click on this and assign macro to it. So with this, show to. So let's go for show here. So we click on OK. Right click on this. Let's go to assign macro and we go for hide. So, yes. so when we click on this, our tools, they are already shown. So we can't do anything here. So this one will hide them. This will show them. This will hide them. This will show them. Good. So basically, that is that. Now let's just go ahead and begin locking our sheets as well as ourselves. So we start with the home page. With the home page, we don't have anything to do here. We don't have any editing stuff to do here. So for us to just lock it, just right click this and go to protect sheets. So you just type in the password. Please make sure you use the same password for all. And then it should be known to you alone, for God's sake, to avoid any uh, future and misunderstandings between you and your systems <laughs> for that. So when you use the same password for all the sheets and then the cells are going to be locking, it makes it easy for you. So let me just introduce my password here. So I'll click on OK. And then retype it. Make sure it matches. And OK. So whatever I try to edit here, they tell me that the workbook is protected. So you can't hide anything. You can't edit anything here. So let's go to the about. So with the about, before you hide, or sorry, before you lock it, make sure you enter the information about the system, how the system works and everything here before you go ahead and then lock it. So that is that. The same way you lock the home, tab, uh, the, the home page, the same we're going to do here too. Now let's go to the student details. As for here, we don't want to lock anything. We won't just leave it open like that. We want to leave it open. Or if we like, we can only lock the headings here and then leave the bottom here open. Yes, because we're going to be updating the, the cells here. We'll be entering student information and all that. So we are not going to lock it. No, we are going to leave it like that. With the teachers as well, we're going to leave it also like that. We won't lock anything here. Also, we have, because we'll be updating information here. As for student MBS data, we're going to lock it. If you are sure that everything is done and working perfectly for you, then my friend, right click on this. Go to protect sheets, then type in the password. Okay, then repeat it. Then you click OK. Then we are done. No one can edit anything here. No one can delete or add anything here. So we are done with that as well. 
let's go move on to the teachers and uh, ms data here you know we made reference to another sheet so here we have to protect it completely without any stress so because you can see when i click it, it's been referred to another another sheet so we have to protect it to protect our formula so just right click this and then you go to um uh protect sheets and you just go to type in password and we are done with that so we try to edit something here it will not work we're trying to edit something here it will not work but that is that so let's just proceed and go to fees now in here we are not going to lock everything we are going to leave the installment okay let me just introduce this button here the clear button so that we can also be clearing informations random here and uh, so that maybe if you, you try entering some information you come to clear them it makes it easy for you let me just insert that button here so you insert that all the shapes let's have that button here somewhere here i think this column will be good sorry let me just okay we can adjust it So right click and edit text so we can just go ahead and then that click so it should be in caps click so let's just select it and then format it appropriately let's center it and then all that change the font style stamps new roman let's bold it a bit good let's just format it here let's go for something like this this looks okay so let's just right click and then assign the macro to it so we have our clear button here so with this we are just going to have a uh, sorry and um, leave this range from installment one to installment four open with here we are not going to update anything or change anything so we're going to lock those places so let's just select this let's use our clear command and declare everything here so now everything becomes normal we are just packaging our system now to put it into use so now we are going to what i want you to know is this the cells in our excel are automatically by default locked for you to protect the sheets you have to unlock the cells you would like to be using so let's do that let's just select for example let me show what i'm talking about let me just confirm my battery power okay it's there um, let me just show you something here. Let's right click. So let me just click on this cell and then let's go to right click it and then go to format cell. Let's come to protection. You can see that it's locked. So unless we tick here, that will be that will unlock it. So when we lock the complete sheet, we'll be able to use that particular cell. So that is what I'm talking about. So the range we will need to be using to updating fees. Let's just say, okay, you understand what I'm talking about. There's no need I didn't talk plenty. You guys are very good. So let me just select the entire, uh, what do you call it, uh, cells here. That is from installment one to four. We are not going to, uh, we are going to leave that open. We are going to touch it. We are not going to uh, lock it. So let's just scroll to the last student. But there we go. So let's just right click. Let's go to the top. Let's right click on it. Let's go to format cell protection. Make sure protection tab is clicked. Then you go to lock. Then make sure you, you take it. Now all those cells are unlocked now. So now we are done. You can edit them the way we want and all that. So there wouldn't be any problem. So now let's go ahead and lock the complete sheets. So go and then right click on this. Right click on this and go to protect sheets. That is a fee collection sheet. So type in the password hit enter confirm it enter again so now we can enter whatever we want to enter here there wouldn't be any problem but if we should temper anything here it wouldn't work so now we have locked these areas nobody can temper with our formulas now here the formatting is still intact everything no problem and all that so that is about here we can edit and then update our information so in here we we'll just trigger our let's, let's check it let me just um, update some payments okay since we haven't entered anybody well who will i even update it to so when we put it into use we want to see what's going to happen here so let's just close our user form 
Now let's go ahead and check on uh, the next one. So here, we don't need any um, cell here to use except this cell uh, where we will be entering um, the admission number for for search and then displaying information. So let's just um, let me clear the content here. Now select it and right click it and then we go to format cells and make sure it's unlocked and okay. Now you can now go ahead and then right click on the tab to lock the sheets now to protect the sheets now. So type in the password. So we have confirm. Okay, so everything here is now locked apart from that particular cell. So we can't edit anything by here. We can write and then go ahead and search without any problem. But here too, we can't edit anything here. So we are done with that as well. Let's go to fees receipt and do the same thing. Let's clear this content here. Now uh, let us go ahead and then uh, uh, um, 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 right click and then go to format cells. Make sure it's unlocked. Then okay. Now let's come and then right click on this and go to protect sheets. Then type in a password. Okay. Okay. Let me just confirm it well. Then done. So here completely locked except that particular cell. So here we can enter this in the search. So we are good to go with that as well. So let's just um, go to student and it's here we don't have anything to do. So let's just lock it. Protect sheet. Let's enter the password. Hit enter. Confirm it. Good. Teachers and it's table. Here we're going to lock it as well. So let's just right click. Protect. Um. Um. Good. So we are done with that as well. We can edit anything here. Good. Now let's go to the final sheet. That is the sentence sheet. Very important. It is holding our data. Let's just lock it without any issue. So. Good. Now I think uh, we are done with our system now. We are done with our system and everything is up and running. Now then so let us control S to save. Now, what we are going to do right now is we want to put our system into use so to test it, to see the workability of the system. I'll be doing that in my own video and then I'll then display it. But then I'll advise you to also enter, admit as many students as you can and then update fees as we have demonstrated in the video in our previous tutorials and see how the system is going to work. I also try it. If I encounter any issues somewhere, I will have to update you with the with the uh, uh, debugging steps so that we can fix the error or problem together. So I say thank you very much for watching and then till our next tutorial where I'll be admitting some students behind the scene then and putting it into use. I then record it as well and then see how the system is going to work for us. So until our next video, I so say thank you very much for watching and bye for now.